Some of the free downloads that I provide on controlpaint.com need a little explanation. Because I'm not a huge fan of instruction manuals, it's nice to release this free content along with a short video to show it in action. This video will show you how to use the machine gun brush pack. I often think of custom brushes as a last resort. They're to be used when manually painting something would just be too tedious to consider. So when I found myself painstakingly working on ammo chains and bullet casings, it seemed like a great opportunity to make some custom brushes. So this first brush is used to create ammo chains. So I'll set it to a black color to show you how it works in a silhouette. It's often good to paint some highlights over top of this once you're finished, but it gives you a great shape to work from. This brush is controlled by the initial direction property, which means that the initial direction that I make my stroke with is going to determine the angle that all of the other bullets stay parallel to. Give this a few tries and you'll see what I mean. When you're working with it, it's good to keep your flow set as high as possible. 100% might be the way to go. This next brush was an answer to times when I found myself cloning individual bullet casings and randomizing them with the free transform tool to make them look like they were flying through the air. Now this was way too slow. Because this is a randomizing brush, it doesn't take much explanation. So put the flow up to 100%, choose a dark color, and start painting with it. So you can see there it varies the size and shape of the bullet casings, as well as their angle. And if you want a more linear effect, you're best off changing a few properties in the brush panel. First, you can lower scattering. This will line up the bullets more. Additionally, in the shape dynamics, you can turn down the amount of angle jitter. And then finally, in the brush tip shape, you can change the direction that they're pointing to line them up any way you like. So this would have a more linear effect. And last but not least, I've included a muzzle flare brush. To use this brush properly, the first step is going to be to set the blending mode to screen. Now I like to use this with a medium orange or maybe a red color. And the screen blending mode will help it give you the nice glow that you're looking for. So to change the angle of this brush, you need to go into the brush tip shape and to point this arrow down the barrel of the gun. So make sure that this is parallel to the gun direction that you're looking for. And then you begin to paint. And I'll probably want to erase back some of the shape such that it ends at the end of the gun. And there you go. Quick and easy muzzle flares. Now I can't stress strongly enough that these custom brushes should be used sparingly. Custom brushes in general should really only be used as a solution to a visual problem that can't be solved with the basic three brushes. Certain things, however, are a lot quicker and easier to use certain custom brushes for. So have fun using these, and hopefully using them will give you some ideas on how to make some of your own.